Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast where we're going to be solving uh, these uh, fundamental problems uh, F10, 1 and 3 and uh, the problem reads uh, determine the moment of inertia of the shaded area about the X axis as well as the Y axis this problem is coming from the Engineering Mechanics uh, Statics uh, textbook, the 10th edition by R.C. Hibela. So I've been asked to find moment of inertia about uh, moment of inertia of an area about the x and the y axis. Moment of inertia of an area is also called area moment of inertia. It is also called second moment of area. And this is a geometric property of uh, an area or a shape such as a uh, cross section of the beam uh, which describes how uh, the area is distributed around and about uh, an axis an axis where we want to find the moment of uh, inertia mathematically moment of inertia about x axis i sub x is equal to integral of y squared dA. And moment of inertia about the y axis i sub y is equal to integral of x squared dA. We use moment of inertia in science and uh, engineering disciplines. Uh, in mechanical and structural engineering, we use it for uh, deflection calculations of beams and. Uh, uh, the load uh, buckling load calculations of columns for uh, within uh, of course mechanical and structural engineering and other many other and, and other many applications all right so let's dive into the problem so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, use calculus here we we'll love to define a very small differential element and then later on give it all the geometric properties and then from there we apply the equations so for a case like uh, a curve like this one being defined by this function uh, when you are defining moment of inertia about the x-axis it's much easier to define your differential element that is parallel to that axis so like in this case I want to find moment of inertia about the x-axis this is a much easier element differential element to work with because if you did the other one which is perpendicular then you have to apply uh, the parallel axis theorem for this one you don't need the parallel axis theorem so let's define this this becomes our dy at this point where this differential elements cuts the curve this is our x comma y and therefore this height here is our y and um, uh, this length here over uh, this small element um, let me define this first we have this point here from there to there this is our x so if that is the case therefore this whole length here this becomes a uh, 1 minus x and therefore our dA here becomes equal to um, the length of our small strip differential strip 1 minus x times this thickness which is dy and then our equation we have y cubed is equal to x squared and making x subject to the formula x therefore is going to be equal to y to the power 3 over 2 so integral i mean moment of inertia about x axis i sub x is equal to integral of y squared dA which is equal to integral of y squared our dA we said is equal to a 1 minus x dy right so let's continue we have this space in between here therefore our i 
x is equal to um, we are going to replace this uh, x there okay and if we do so then we have integral of y squared uh, minus y squared okay let me just replace first i do the replacement one minus uh, y three over two dy if we multiplied or expanded that this gives us of course we're integrating from zero to one along the y-axis this becomes y squared minus when the two multiply y to the power two times y to the power three over two this becomes a seven over two right mm -hmm. a seven over two so if we are to now integrate this this becomes y to the power three over three minus two y uh, nine over two divided by okay because we're adding a one there so seven over two plus one is nine over two so once we divide nine over two the two comes up and so on okay from zero to one and once we work out this then we have moment of inertia about the x-axis this is equal to a 0 0.111 meters to the power 4. Great. So let's go to the second one. Let me just close this here so that we don't. I close this and I also close this. Okay, let's go to the second one. Um, we are finding moment of inertia about the y-axis like i said we need to get a strip a differential strip that is parallel to the axis of interest in this case we want moment of inertia about the y-axis therefore our strip will be like so okay and this thickness is uh dx Okay, and it cuts the curve at this point, which we are calling our x comma y. And therefore, this length here, this is going to be going to be equal to be our x. And then this one, this this height here, this is our y. And therefore. Our dA will be equal to our y times dx. And uh, we have our equation y cubed equal to x squared. Making y subject of formula, this becomes equal to x squared 2 over 3. All right. So integral i mean moment of inertia about the y-axis i sub y is equal to integral integrating from 0 to 1 of x squared dA which is equal to 0 to 1 x squared our dA we say it is just the y dx okay this is this one here all right so let's move on to this space, to this new space. So then, uh, let's replace, let's replace this value here. We replace this y. We replace this y here. And if we did so, uh, this becomes equal to integral from zero to one, x squared times uh, x to the power 2 over 3 uh, dx and then we have 0 to 1 when we multiply the product of these two we are going to have uh, this is uh, x to the power 8 over 3 okay great uh, dx so if we integrate this then we'll have um 
8 plus 8 over 3 plus 1 okay so it's a 3 over 3 that's 11 x to the power 11 over 3 so we'll have a 3 x 11 over 3 divided by 11 like so right 0 to 1 we're evaluating from 0 to 1 therefore y moment of inertia about the y-axis this becomes equal to uh, just a 3 over 11 right which is just a 0 0.27 2727 so we can just round it off to 3 meters to the power 4 okay so we have moment of inertia about the x-axis we are done is equal to 0 0.111 meters to the power 4 and moment of inertia about the y-axis is equal to 0 0.273 meters to the power 4 of course it makes sense we expect a higher moment of inertia uh, about about the, the y-axis because when you look at the uh, the area about uh, the y-axis will have more moment of inertia or moment of inertia will be higher than in the x-axis all right about this yes. so we have a higher moment of inertia about the y-axis than in the x-axis this is about it and i hope the video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and uh, liking my channel bye bye and uh, see you in my next uh, screencast